What's going on guys, Galazak here, and in today's video we will be designing and decorating and adding the quails into the quail aviary. So, a little sneak peek of what it's going to look like, it is looking absolutely awesome. This intro is made after we've done everything, so I'll cut back to the start. I've got to add a platform at the door, because this is where the double door is going to be, because over on this side is where... In the future, for next season of birds at breeding, we will be building a massive pheasant aviary. And I'm going to keep the species of pheasant secret from you guys for now. But that is going to be awesome. Some nice exotic pheasants in there. But found this beautiful piece of wood. Because as you know, over in the parrot aviary's double door, we have a nice wood platform. But this piece is a beautiful colour. So all I need to do is dig this in the ground. So these are all of the flowers that we have bought, lots of them in a little packs of six or more and some singular big ones, they are absolutely beautiful, we've got a large variety of heaps that will be suitable for this aviary and none are harmful to the birds that we are going to be putting in here and they are gorgeous, let's start getting them planted right after we add some rocks and wood. So I'm now in the aviary and we got this dead bush thing that just died in the front yard. So we thought it looked great as a nice big bush that could have originally been a bush in here and just died just to add an aged look like this has been planted for ages. Put some rocks around the bottom, just buried the root structure down. But yeah, that looks awesome right beside the house. Makes it look like a big tree that's grown outside the little cottage. Got some other nice big rocks that we'll put along this little cliffside and then we can plant all the flowers around it. Okay, we've got the rocks in the place, dug them into the soil a bit, got the nice big ones in the cliffside here, and we started placing some flowers around just to see how they look like, still in the pots, not making anything final yet, but just adding them around and seeing how they So look. we've still got all the containers with all the plants where there's many in them for us to spread apart, but all the single pots we've got in a place around here, and that's looking awesome. I love the hill angled look of it all so you can see all of the flowers with the depth. So Mrs. Glar and I just been planting out all the single pots and started planting around a bunch of these. These are lupins. They are very beautiful. I'm going to plant some all back there and I've just planted some behind this rock here. They are looking beautiful and we have started scattering around these which we'll be planting all around here. We Bought so many flowers so this is going to be so nice and dense as well as seeds that will be sprinkling around the front and the so back. We've planted some of these bronze leaf begonias and we can start to see them flowering here so we can tell that's a pink and this one's a white so we planted them in twos so a pink and a white there and a pink and a white there so that we have a more variation of color and Mrs. Galar has just planted four of these ones in the corner there so those rutabichias can create a nice bush of bright yellow flowers right behind where the sand bath is going to go. So we have planted two different varieties of marigolds around here. I think these ones are marigold safari yellow and these ones are marigold safari bee, something like that. And we got these ones, we got some white scattered all along here and the bluey purple ones scattered along here. I'll get the names of them right here. So that's that one, and this is this one here, just in case you like the flowers when they grow in, and can look back at this video if you ever want them. So we are now finished planting all of the flowers, but there is so many beautiful flowers in here, and we left some space in here to walk when we step in, and for the little sand pit, so that is great. I'll just come around the front and show you. And we're still going to paint the front black which will make it so much easier to see. It is quite hard to see from this angle but just coming close here you can see how awesome it is going to turn out. And can't wait for all the flowers to get absolutely massive and flower. Next season this is going to be an awesome looking aviary 
and this aviary is going to be constantly changing with the plants and flowers and the seeds that we sprinkle in here it is going to be one of my favorite aviaries as well as the little quails running around the bottom enjoying their little house all that stuff they'll appreciate the rocks and the hill as well help with their running and strength but now we are just going to give it a good water and leave it for about a week for the plants to settle as well as to test that no rats can get in here we're going to leave a little dish of many types of food in there just to let the rats attempt so that we know that it is possible so that we don't risk losing any of the quails and yeah it'll be good to let the little baby plants have time to settle their roots in otherwise the quails will destroy so them it is a beautiful sunny day and the aviary is doing great flowers are thriving all have perked up even the droopy ones because they're getting nice water i think it drizzled with rain last night so that is great and i ended up getting this big bush finally out you can see the grapevine i trimmed all of these until i was able to get to that bottom stump and then i just cut that off but the main stump in here if you can see it runs along down here and then it goes completely sideways right there so if i trim away all the spiky bush then i could put them in that'd be great for big parrots that are going to be going in here because it's a literal vertical but then horizontal so they'll be able to perch in it's nice and thick and gritty so that is awesome okay the sun's starting to hit the aviary with all the flowers it is looking awesome but i finally trimmed back that whole tree branch that took so much longer than i expected and especially because all of these hurt like hell they are so painful and they just stab you and yeah it's just ruthless but i've got this all trimmed got a bunch of perches on there and now i think i'm going to add it into the aviary so i now have the branch up it looks great Georgie's trying to get at the screws but the drill is flat now so I was only barely able to get one screw in over at that connecting point there and I died before I was able to get to this one so I tied that with wire temporarily but I'll charge the drill and then get back to that but this looks awesome lots of spaces for parrots to perch we are not sure what parrots we want to get in here yet. We're thinking some sort of conya or something. Something awesome like that. And Georgie's butting me when I'm trying to film. But it has like a little cool natural swing connected to it that the bridge will be able to perch on. It's just attached there and it curls around and it bounces. That's pretty cool. And there's other small perches horizontally for them all to perch on. It is awesome so we have got more paint mrs galah is just watering all the flowers but as you can see painted these whole panels and it makes such a difference now i've got to paint all the rest so almost got the whole aviary painted black just got to get those last two panels but when we were at the store buying the sand for the sand pit we came across this plant absolutely big beautiful with white flowers only three dollars so that was an absolute bargain had to get it so now although the aviary is pretty full we have to find a spot to put it okay so the aviary looks so much better with all of that black paint on it you can barely notice it you can see right through at all the flowers really shows you how the aviary is looking from the outside perspective and we ended up planting that white flowering plant in a little clear patch that we had there that looks absolutely awesome they'll be nice and carpeted all around there but we bought two tubes of paint and we did the whole front of the aviary with only one so thank you dutch but over here we're going to start painting all this mesh black because it will look a lot better you can see through it actually better on camera than in real life but you can barely see through it and it will just help it a lot so let's do that so we added the sand as you can tell we dug up the dirt added the weed mat 
got this bit of grapevine that circled around perfectly, put around, built the dirt up around, and then put the sand in. It looks great. So here's what it looks like from the outside. As you can see, little sand pit. It looks absolutely awesome, super cute and cool. But we are almost finished this aviary. We have just got to add a couple more trees in the top, but that is not until we get more bigger parrots. Still gonna do it anyway, but it is fully complete, ready for quails. We'll just let the flowers settle a little more. Finally, got this platform in. It looks great. Now I can stand on a nice clean platform where the double door is gonna be built. I can open this, swings open nice and smoothly, and then we can enter into the aviary. Looking absolutely awesome. So we are going to let the girls in the aviary for the day. We still haven't got a roof on, so we're going to bring them back in at night time. But the flowers have, have had time to grow in, as you can see, all the small weeds coming through. And we'll weed them, as well as these guys will probably eat them. But they have a little bit of seed. We'll freshen up that water. I think they're going to go straight to the dirt bath, but they should absolutely love it in here. And they are pretty chill birds, so I'll probably just be able to grab them right here and let them go into the aviary they are already pecking around they will love it in here and they are in the sand bath pecking around dusting themselves off they are loving it and they're going to enjoy a full day with sun space to run around rocks to climb and sand to bathe in so we have all the quails in the aviary now. We put some temporary roofing up. They are loving it. Hopefully they eat and flatten the weeds, but Chip has finally been able to interact with the females. There's Cappy and Sarufi in the sand bath. They are loving the sand bath. Filled their house over there with some wood chip, but they are so friendly and they will come right up to you, sit on your hand, play with you, and eat the seed right there. They are loving it. Okay, so it is late the next day, so they have been in here for a while now and they have settled in so well, eating, drinking, exploring, foraging. There's Sarufi up there, Cappy and Chip. He is sitting in amongst the marigolds. That is awesome, but they are absolutely loving it in here and they look so adorable. So Chip has just been running around like a maniac and if you look, Sarufi has found her way in the house. She is just relaxing in there in the shade and in all the sawdust. Looks like she's been kicking it back in there. That'd be so comfy for her. But these two are doing great. They stick side by side all the time, follow each other. They are such a cute little pair. So we are gonna be feeding them and just showing you that they all eat of eat out of our hands and they go nuts for it. Especially Chip, he is the friendliest little bugger, but all of them eat and are so friendly, we can literally just pick them up and they won't care at all. But Sarufi's over here, she's just picking at the weeds and eating the flowers. But as you see, Mrs. Glide's just picking them up and he doesn't care at all. It's awesome. And he goes nuts when you touch the bag, he attacks it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The quails are loving the new aviary. I have started on the double door as we are going to be adding lovebirds in the next video on the aviary. So that is super exciting as well as we got two more birds for the parrot aviary that will be in that video as well. So stay tuned for that. But hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,